How we doing, everyone? My name is Michael Worden, and if you're new here, well, I gotta say, it's a pleasure to meet you. Now, I decided, and I wanted to talk to you, everyone, who's ever tuning in to watch this, you know, video here. I wanted to talk about something. I wanted to share something, and obviously, what I kind of like wanted to talk about kind of ended, ended like, I want to say when was uh, October, like, you know, obviously like two months ago, but like, I don't know, just me, you know, being busy and just wanting to just, you know, relax after having kind of like this, you know, this like crazy schedule that I pretty much in a way put on myself. I just kind of wanted to like, you know, Relax. Well, it wasn't like a crazy schedule, but like, you know, I pretty much from the very beginning of October to from, you know, to the very end of October, I pretty much worked every day of October. But, and I wanted to talk about this, but just, you know, just to decompress from all that time and me, you know, working and just all that kind of stuff, I, you know. I wanted to just get away, but now, like, because of, like, you know, certain timing of things as of right now, when, why not, I thought maybe it'd be a good time to bring this up. So, I did something in the month of October. I kind of pretty much stepped out of my comfort zone. I did something a little different, a little new. I was extraordinarily nervous, but I... I look back at it now, you know, there was one time where I could have hopped out and said, no, I don't want to do this. But I look back on that now, and I'm happy I never did that. And obviously, I know we're, I know it's literally a little, a little early to talk about, you know, the haunted house, you know, the, you know, you know, the haunt season and stuff, because, you know, we're, I know it's too early, we're like 10 months away. But I wanted to share my experience you know, talk about it, you know, give you guys a story. And then I'm going to kind of dive into some other thoughts that I had because of this and all that kind of stuff. So where do I begin? I began oof, a few years ago. Uh, at the time I was working at a sheet metal shop as what they call a programmer. I basically programmed uh, sheet metal cutting machines at the time. And at this point, I wasn't really... Uh, totally all about haunted houses or anything like that i did enjoy the fall season i did enjoy the halloween season but i just to me doing fall slash halloween stuff was more rooted in carving pumpkins spending a nice cool night baking pumpkin cookies and watching spooky movies i wasn't so much for the haunted house time per se you know i wasn't i wasn't all about that so it was one Saturday night, me and my family were out, we had some plans to go do something. And I kind of spoke up, you know, my parent, I was with, it was just me, my mom and my dad, and all three of us were talking, they were like, well, what do you want to do after, you know, we're doing this or whatever? And I'm like, well, I don't know. And I'm like, I kind of want to do something fun for Halloween. And of course, in my head, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking, pu carving pumpkins, I'm thinking... Pumpkin coffee, I'm thinking pumpkin, you know, uh, pumpkin cookies, I'm thinking Halloween spooky movies. I don't know. So, of course, you know, we're all talking. Of course, my mother goes, well, there's a haunted house in Utica. And my dad goes, no, no. I, he goes, no, I think that haunted house that you're speaking about, it moved out to Rome. And I'm like, no, there's a little, there's this little, like, it's not little, but these, like, butterfly feelings are, like, are starting to rise up in my stomach, and I'm like, eh. and I'm like, yeah, it moved out to Rome, and I'm like, I don't want to do it. I'm like, I don't want to do this, right? So I'm like, I, I don't, eh, I, I don't really want to do this. So somewhere deep inside my gut, I don't know why. As we're going out, as we're out, I got this feeling in my stomach, it, and in my heart, it's like, do this. Just do it. Just go and just do it. And I'm like, okay, I gotta, oh my God, I gotta listen to it. In my heart, you know? 
So we we go and do what we gotta do and we're done and, and we decided to leave, right? So I get in the car and I am shaking to my car. And I'm like and I'm like so my, my, my dad he, my dad goes, Michael, I go, what? He goes, can you look up the place and the name of the location? I go, yeah, sure. So I'm, I search up the name. The, the place's name is Kao, by the way. And, and before I continue, I'm only going to give you the name of the Hana house. So if, if you're located in the Utica, Rome area, you should check it out, you know, this upcoming October to... Give it a see. It's a lot of fun. Um, so, of course, I'm not going to mention any names, but I'll, I'll get into that here shortly. Probably, I was near the end of the video. So, I, I, I'm honestly, I'm sitting in the car, and my dad goes, Michael, can you, you know, look up the place and, and the location? I go, yeah, yeah, sure, sure. So, I search up Kale. Okay, I'm like, okay. And I look it up, and... And I go, okay, Dad. I go, it's, it's here and here, you know. He goes, all right. And so he starts driving. And my dad goes, he goes, Michael. He goes, I know this is, I know that this is new for you. He goes, by any means necessary. He goes, if you do not want to do this, he goes, I'm more than welcome. To take the car and turn around and go home. I understand. If you do not want to do this, you're you're more than well. You, I am more than welcome to take you back home. I'm like, okay, Dad. Thank you. But somewhere deep, I knew I kind of like had that chance of an out. But I, I I was I, I in a way I was happy I had it. But also in a way, I'm also glad I didn't like do that. <laughs> you know. Because, you know, so we, you know, we get there and, and of course, like, on the outside where you stand in line, it's loud. It. I mean, the guy that runs this thing, he really knows how to make the place eerie feeling when you kind of, like, get there. You know, it's like, you're like, ooh, you know, weird and creepy. You know, it's eerie. It's, you know, he just knows how to make it, right? He almost makes it feel like, it, like it's almost real, you know. It's, it's weird, you know, but for good reason, obviously. So we get there, and of course we're standing in line, and of course I'm spooked. And I remember actually, believe it or not, I remember actually, now I recall it, I actually remember seeing like the boss actually walking by me. I didn't know who it was. I kind of thought like, oh, he's just a scare actor getting to his whatever, his position or whatever it is. I, I don't know, just to scare the crap out of people. I don't know. But I remember actually seeing him because I now, I now know who he is officially. And so, you know, we get the tickets and, and we, you know, Stand in line, and um, stand in line. And of course, I'm shook. I'm shaking. I'm obviously for the right reasons. I'm scared. I I don't know what to do. And I'm like, just, just breathe. You're gonna be okay. You're not gonna get hurt. You know. So we're standing in line, and my dad mentions to me that he's hungry. He goes, Oh, I'm so hungry. You know. So funny enough, Kato at the time when I went there had this. I had a food truck there and had this, this what's called Mangia, Mangia Macrina's Wood Fire Pizza. And it's this guy that we personally know. He's a, he's a good family friend. He makes uh, small pizzas, individual pizzas for you. And, you know, Wood Fire Pizza. And I knew him and I offered up to my father. I go, I go, Dad, I go, I, I can go up. I'm more than happy to buy a, you a pizza if you want to. And he goes, will you do that? I go, yeah. So I, so I quickly, because I'm scared, obviously, I run out of line. I... You know, and I, and I go up to, and you know, I, I order the pizza, and the guy's talking to me because he knows me, and he's asking me. He goes, Mike. He goes, How you doing? We're doing good. I'm doing good. He goes, Here to come to. I go, Of course. I, you know, I, <laughs> and also come to smell the flowers too. You know. And he goes, Oh, he, he goes, Where are you working? I go, I'm working at this uh, sheet metal shop. I program machines at the time. He goes, Oh, really? He goes, I go, Yeah. He goes, He goes, Oh, he goes, There's a girl that works for me. At my, at my location in New Hartford, it, which is a town that I live in, and she, and she, and her boyfriend works there. And I'm like, really? She goes, he goes, yeah. He goes, I can't re really remember the name. The name's, I, I, and she goes, like, the name is something or whatever. 
And I'm like, okay, so I'm, as I'm sitting there waiting, I'm like, you know, I'm gonna, after I get back to work, I'm gonna share my experience with the boyfriend, you know, this guy that I know, you know, and whatnot. So, I remember standing in line and whatnot, and, um, my dad points something out to me, and he goes, Michael, and I go, what? He goes, he goes, see all the people walking out, and I go, yeah, 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 yeah. He goes, notice how there's, like, little kids? And I go, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, notice how they're, like, not, like, terror, you know, they're not screaming in terror? And I go, yeah. He goes, he goes, you'll be fine. And I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, okay. But with all due respect, that didn't really help me out with anything. That kind of just... Calm me down a little bit, but not really, you know? So, you know, we're going, you know, we're waiting in line and whatnot. And, of course, I'm seeing people coming out, walking out. I'm noticing, like, they're fine. And, of course, this, like, utter thought in my head. I'm like, I'm going to be touched and all this weird stuff. Like, there's a bunch of weird thoughts are coming to my head, you know? And I'm like, I don't know. And, of course, like, all these thoughts are, you know, with everything going on, I'm new. I'm like, I, you know, I've never done this before. And, I, and I'm terrified you know so eventually i like i remember you know the usher at, at the entrance of the of the haunted house you know he he goes how many and i'm like uh you know we're like three at the time you know three he goes all right he goes let me just you know give you give me a minute and eventually he, he puts us in and i remember walking through it and i remember walking out and i'm like i'm like that's it Man, it goes, yeah. And I'm like, I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, wow. And I'm like, that's awesome. I'm like, yeah, it was super cool. And, and I'm like, the thing, the thing, the thing, you know, the thing here, the thing there. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm like, that's so cool. You know? So, of course, like, I go home. I thought it was super cool. And, of course, like, you know, I'm searching all kinds of haunted houses. And I'm like, oh, let's see this one. I want to see this one, which... Which led me to this place. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like so cool. You know, it, it was really neat, you know. And I'm like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, you know. So, time goes on. I'm back at work. And, um, I get talking to the, to the boyfriend, right? To the boyfriend who has a girlfriend that works for this pizza guy. And I go, I go, dude, I go, I went to this thing. There's this guy, he knows you. He says that his girlfriend works, that your girlfriend works for him and stuff. And I went to this place, it's called Kale, it's like really cool. And he goes, oh yeah, you went there, huh? And I'm like, yeah, 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 yeah. He goes, he goes, oh, he goes, I know that I know the guy that runs it. He owns it, he's the boss, he is the owner of the place. And I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah. I go, who is it, who is it, who is it? I go, I think it's super cool what he does, who is it? And he goes, it's such and such, it's such and such. And I'm like, okay. So eventually I find him on Facebook. You know, I'm, I'm friend. I'm honestly, I'm friends with him. And now... I texted, I texted this guy, but we're not like buddy buddy or anything. We just kind of just texted back and forth. <clears throat> and, um, and, you know, we talked and we talked and we talked. And I really never met him in person. So, a couple years ago, actually, if anything, we're talking, we're texting. And he's texting me one day. He goes, hey, Mike. And I go, what? And he goes, he goes up at this place, it's called Vernon, Vernon Downs, he goes, there's this, there's this play, there's this, what's this called, a sci-fi horror festival, it's, it's like a festival, you know, you know, uh, like Comic Con and all that kind of stuff, but this is for, you know, horror and it's for the local area, and he goes, he goes, I'm gonna be there, and I'm like, oh, okay, he goes, how about you come over, if you have the time, you know, from this time to this time, it's going on, I'll be there, and I'm like, okay. So, I'll, I'll, you know, if I had the time, I'll make a decision to go or whatever. And, uh, and of course I did, and I made a decision to go out there. Sure enough, I met him, and I'm like, hey, how's it going? And I go, are you such and such? And he goes, I am such and such. And, you know, we get talking, and it, really the, the spark of being a scary actor never really just clicked right away. I kind of just thought it was cool that I got to meet him, you know? So... Time goes on, you know, yada, 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 going in life, you know, me and him talk back and forth about certain things and certain whatever and what I'm doing now and all that kind of stuff or whatever. But, 
yet again, me and him were never like friends, friends, you know. So, coming up this year, earlier this year, he texts me again. He goes, hey, Mike. And I go, what's up? He goes, I go, I go, what's up? He goes, that, uh, that horror fest. He goes, you remember that horror fest? I go, yeah, I remember it. He go, I'm like, is it going again this year? And he goes, yeah. He goes, do you want to, do you want to, um, come again if you can? I go, sure. So time comes and I show up again. And this time, <laughs> the dude brings one of his projects with him. I was like, I was like, holy smokes. That thing is huge. I go, what's in there? And of course, give it a few minutes later, I'm hearing something scary screaming on the inside. And I'm like, I don't want to go in there. Uh -uh. I'm like, I don't, no, 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 no. So I, I'm like, I'm like, I, 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 no, 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 no. But eventually, it's, the, there's a whole other story there. I'm not, I'm not going to get into it. It's, for, forget it. it. Someone I met, you know, he's a really cool guy. And his friend that played a character and all that kind of stuff. It's, it's a whole other story. And, um, after I got done talking to him and stuff, and he told me he would give me a free ticket or something like that, which, trust me, I got more than just a free ticket. Um, he, he told me, he goes, you know, just tell me when you decide to come walk through my thing. He goes, oh, I'll give you a free ticket or whatever. And I'm like, okay, cool. And so, I, I left that place, and something was kind of like, Stirring me, stirring me on the inside to text him about hopping up. Which in, which in words, the key word here was hopping out. With what I was thinking, you know, I'm like, hey, I go, hey, something, yeah, you know, uh, uh, you know, can I help out this year? And he goes, yeah, he eventually gets back to me. He goes, yeah, yeah. He goes, he goes, uh, he goes tomorrow. Of course, I text him that Saturday. Uh, was it that Saturday? No, 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 no. It was the next week. I remember correctly. It was a, the week from the time I saw him at the horror convention. And I and I texted him that Saturday. Because I was making a joke. He's got a booth at, at, at one of the bigger malls that's about 45 minutes away from me. Which has at, which is the closest Lego store for me. Since we're talking Lego here. I was making jokes about his kiosk that he owns there and whatnot. And, um... I just, I had this itch. I'm like, I go, hey, I go, can I help you out this year? Help out, you know? I didn't really specify scare acting. I go, can I just help out, you know? And of course, like, it's just timing is just perfect. Sometimes in, in, in this world, when it's just meant to be, it's just meant to be. And timing, when timing is immaculate, timing is immaculate. And when I texted him, I, I go, can I be a scare act? Can I help out? Not a scare actor, can I help out? He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, Come over tomorrow at such time. And yeah. And I'm like, oh, I go, what's going on? And he goes, oh, it's a scare actor meetup. And I'm like, oh, 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 scare actor. I, I don't want to be a scare actor. <laughs> uh, I want to hop out. I, like, make me punch tickets and, and tell people when to go. I, I don't want to be a scare actor. No, 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 no. I'm not that scary and, 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 and intimidating. Make me be security or something like that. And he goes, look, he goes, just come over. We'll see what we got. I'm like, okay. So, of course, I plan on doing it. But in order for me to calm down, what I did, I just told myself, I can just step out and just say no. I'm disinterested and I'm not going to do it. Just not going to do it. Not going to do it. If, if I don't see anything that I don't want to do, I don't have to do it. That's it. It's easy. You know? You know, you know, you know the, the the hunt the hunt season's here in a few weeks. I don't have to do it, you know. So tomorrow comes and the time comes for me to show up. And I re like I remember I get there, and he goes, "Yeah, like park here." He goes, "I'm gonna let you through in this certain door," and I'm like, "Okay." <clears throat> so I, I remember I, I I get there. Okay, and I tell him like I'm here, you know, I, and I'm like. Looking around, I'm kind of waiting for him for a little bit. I kind of take a picture. I'm like, hey, dude, like, I parked here, you know. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, I'm waiting, you know. Eventually, pop, props open the door. He goes, hey, how's it going? I go, how's it going? And he goes, hey, come through. And he kind of like, he kind of just walks me quickly to the, to the, 
back, you know, to their back a lot, you know. He's, as we're walking, he goes, you know, uh, you know, have you been through here? I go, well, I've, like, paid for a ticket, and I walk through, you know, when you're in action, but, like, not walk through, like, in this state, you know, when everything's kind of just standing still, you know, or if there's no scare actors, and he goes, oh, okay. So, as soon as he's walking me through, and eventually he takes me in the back of the lot, and eventually he points to some, he, he grabs someone's attention, and he points them towards me. And his name, now this is the name I'm going to mention because it's pretty much a nickname. His, it's not his real name. And he was the head of security and his name was Bimo. So he turns around and he goes, hey, how's it going? He goes, my name is, he gave me his real name, but everyone calls him Bimo. He goes, my name's Bimo. And he shakes my hand and I go, oh, and he goes, and before I even say a word, he goes, oh, you're Mike. And I go, yeah, that's me. He goes, he goes, we're friends on Facebook. And I go, really? And this is the time for a quick confession for me. There's a bunch of random people I don't know on Facebook. <laughs> just because I'm, you know, I'm just trying to get my Facebook, my, my YouTube, you know, well known. And maybe it'll spark that random person that I'm friends with and interest and all that kind of stuff. And he goes, yeah, you, you're on Facebook. He goes, I see all your Lego stuff. And I go, yeah, that's me, you know. And so he goes, well, he goes, welcome. He goes, my name is BMO. And he goes, and welcome to our Psycho Den. And he goes, this is where all the characters... Plus you, me. And I'm like, what? And he goes, he goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Scare actors, you know, whatnot. And I go, ho, ho, ho. I go, wait a second. Wait, wait, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Wait a second. <clears throat> I don't want to be a scare actor. And God bless this guy. Because this is that kind of guy I kind of feel like he can kind of like, if he wanted to, he could just, okay, well, nice knowing you. I, I'm disinterested. See you later. Bye-bye. But no, I, I told him, I don't, I don't want to be a scary actor. I am not scary. I'm, in, I'm not, I'm not intimidating. I can't act. He goes, and I have a genuine fear, pretty ironic, that if I see someone that I know, I'm going to break character, I'm going to start laughing, and I think it's going to be funny. I go, I don't want to do it. And he goes, <clears throat> he goes, buddy, buddy. He goes, it's not a, yes, I go, he goes, yes, there are more sections of this haunt where you kind of have to act more than there are in some areas. <clears throat> he goes, but overall, there's some areas where it's as simple as just pushing a button. I go, it's funny you say that because I was talking to the owner at the horror convention <clears throat> and he said that like, you know, that like that's, you know, he's got some of the things like that. You know, he's got some things in here that are like that. He goes, yeah, 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 yeah. He, he goes, it's fine. And he goes, trust me. He goes, we'll find something perfect for you. He goes, trust me, you'll be good. And I'm like, okay. And of course, like, this whole time, I'm seeing a bunch of people I don't know. I'm, I think I'm, I think I have a small case of like social anxiety, but like as time went on with this whole thing, I just I felt better at with it because I just got used to it. I just got used to the people, and I got to know the people, you know, most of the actors and stuff. And and a lot of people say like we're a family here, and I can kind of see that in a way. You know, I can kind of see it. Like you know, everyone's very close and very, very just with each other and, and everyone just likes each other and why and i get it and i understand and i see it you know i see what they're talking about you know so after being all he gets himself situated with me and after that whole thing about you know it doesn't take much to be a scare actor here you know you can press a button do this you know do a little here whatever he eventually he decides to take me through and Actually, let me go back to that point. I remember when I said that, like, I'm not scary, I'm not intimidating and stuff. And, of course, I kind of say this out loud for everyone to hear me say this, which, if, if you're a KO actor and you're watching this and you worked with me this year, I'm kind of sorry I said that because I didn't know at the time, you know. I didn't know I was going to have so much fun. <clears throat> and I remember, I remember uh, when I said that, you know, I'm not scary, I'm not intimidating or anything. There was, there was this woman, uh, she... She was actually, she's actually the girlfriend of the guy that walked me through, uh, the guy, BMO. And she goes, oh, look at me. She goes, I'm tiny and adorable, but you wouldn't think that I'm scary. And she's like high energy. She's like, you know, she's, a brrr, and you know, you know, she was running all, all, all over the place outside. And I'm like, my goodness, like, who the heck are you? Like, she's, pew, 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 pew. and I'm like, hey, you're nuts. <clears throat> and, and of course, at that point, BMO decides to walk me through the whole place. And he goes, yeah, this is where that, you know, scary prop is here. This is where that, like, someone gets their head, 
yeah, you know, something not so good happens here. This is where the little <clears throat> little extra bucket of blood happens here, and this is where that thing bobbles his head like this here. And, and you know, he's showing me around. He goes, "This is <clears throat> where such and such works here. This is where such and such works there. This is <clears throat> this is where this nifty little thing is here." And I'm like, "Oh, okay." You know, I'm kind of looking around and I'm kind of sharing my experience and stuff. And of course, <clears throat> this woman that. It's zipping all over the place. She's literally running all over the place and she's going through all these secret tunnels. And with all due respect, she was popping out of nowhere, scaring me. And I'm like, Ugh. and she goes, I got you. And I'm like, well, it is, you know, an appropriate place, you know, haunted house. You're scaring me. It's a little early for the season, but it'll, you know, I'll let this lie, you know. <clears throat> and, um, I obviously like you know she, she's obviously very good she says she's been there for years and she, and she just knows her you know she you know she just knows everything about the place you know she kind of knows and she like i said she was scaring me so eventually you know we get done and you know we get done you know walking through it and stuff and i'm, I'm like yet again like I, I don't know about being a scare actor i'm like i'm i'm too scared you know i, I don't want to i don't want to fail like i i want to do the best that i can for this place and and add to the experience, you know. So eventually I get talking to the boss and I'm like, you know, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be heading out of here. I go, I go uh, well, it, actually no, I'm, I'm skipping too far ahead, I'm sorry. Um, I eventually after when I'm done <clears throat> giving tour of KO and everything, the, the boss, he's looking through the paperwork, he's got all the names of the scenes and the people that are that, that, that kind of act in that scene and stuff. And I'm like, you know, I go, dude, I go, I, I don't know. I go, if I don't, if I can't, if I don't have to be a scare actor, I don't want to be a scare actor. I go, if you can just make me security or, or some, or a little to no acting or make me punch and holes in tickets. One of those. He goes, ah, oh, being a scare actor is nothing, man. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. He goes, I got scare, I got scare acting experience for 15 plus years. He goes, trust me, I've been running the business. He goes, trust me, you'll be fine. And I'm like, I go, I, I understand that. And, and, and thanks for the confidence in me. But but still, I, I go, I don't, I, I, you know. He goes, look, he goes, I got a position for you. He goes, I need someone to cover it. And he goes, you might be the perfect man for it. And I'm like, okay. And I go, what is it? And he goes, is this position. Now, I'm not going to mention it because I'm going to respect the haunted house and, and 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 obviously the inside secrets of it, so I'm not going to mention it. He goes, he goes, this is what it is. And basically, I had two entry points and I was very loud, you know. And he goes, it's real easy. You don't have to do anything special. Just, you know, this is who you're working with and you got me associated with that person who was there at the time. And he goes, that's it. It's easy. I'm like, all right. So eventually, they bring me back in. They bring me where it is. And, and they just show me, and I'm like, really? He goes, I'm like, this is the position? And I'm like, and they're like, yes. And I'm like, all right, well, <clears throat> I'll take it then. Let's do it. So, got myself situated, figured out the scene. I'm like, I got this, right? So, but yet again, there, there were some like weird thoughts in my head, like, oh, they're going to kick me out. They're going to make me do something else. I don't know. You know, I'm the rookie here, you know? And apparently there's a rule of thumb with this place that if you're a rookie and if you're new, they're going to kind of give you something kind of simple to see where you best fit, you know. So time goes on, right? And <clears throat> we're talking like pretty much a little over a month of me, you know, not acting and eventually for him to start, you know. And within a week of the haunt season starting... He got me associated with the KO actor um, page, actor and actresses page, where people, you know, where he can make announcements and people can, you know, you know, he can tell, hey, you know, just so you guys are aware, you know, be there on time and all that kind of stuff. You know, to talk to his, talk to his, you know, his actors and stuff. He makes an announcement that week before everything starts. He goes, I just want everyone to show up. And it goes, he goes, I just want everyone to walk through with the noise and everything so people are associated with what they're hearing. You can get used to it and whatnot. And he goes, and, and get the new people associated with where they're at and, 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 you know, they can know what they're doing and stuff like that. 
And I just remember he got us walking through. He said, when the music stopped, he goes, go to this place, go to this section here in the hunt. And he goes, we're going to talk a little bit more and what I expect from you guys and how to treat certain situations from people that are stupid as they're walking through and people that are overly terrified. You know, there's, you know, he went through all the precautions and all that. And just overall, like, <clears throat> that's when it clicked. That's when I got really excited about doing this. I'm like, you know what? I'm like, you know what? I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to being a scary actor. I go, I can't wait to do this. I'm excited, you know? <clears throat> and so, you know, the time comes and I remember I, I'm getting myself ready, you know, and, he, and of course he's walking through the maze and, you know, he's showing all the new people, okay, this is what I expect you to do. You know, I want you to cry here. I want you to scream here. I want you to, you know, act like this, act like that, all that kind of stuff. And, um, I remember, you know, like the day came, you know, Friday night showed up. I got that night off from work and I remember just doing it. I'm like, man, like, this is fun. Throughout the whole, this whole hot season, I was, I made people scream. I made people fall. I've had people give me a seat, a certain appendage. I've had people call me certain names. I've had people swear and say a bunch of bad things. Let me tell you something. When I'm called a bunch of mean things and people swear at me and people give me a certain appendages, I take that as a compliment. I thought that was stinking funny. And, and I had fun. And I had fun. And now I look back at it now. Yet again, if I decided to, to opt out of this and, and say, no, I don't want to do this, I can, I can still see myself kicking myself because I'm happy I did this. I'm like, wow, this was really cool. And, um... And I'm super proud of myself. And as I said, I stepped out of <clears throat> my comfort zone, you know. And in, in a way, in a way for whoever who you are, if you're watching this, I don't know what the perfect word is to encourage you or to recommend to you to step out of your comfort zone, okay? Do something different in your life. I know you kind of live every day going to this, doing that, you know, and it's been the same thing, but that's been in your, in your comfort zone. If there's a new chance of something new in your life coming up that you kind of know, like, you know, it's, it's going to, you know, it's going to make you nervous, but like, nothing bad's going to happen to you. Look, nothing bad happened to me, you know, and it did, I did it and it made me a much more interesting person and that's what it's going to do to you you know do something different in your life okay as of right now the recording of this let me double check it is well my screen just shut off um on my laptop i believe it's december 23rd within just a few days in a couple days it's gonna be christmas and then within a, a little over a week from now it's gonna be the new year's and of course, with that, a lot of people come up, including yourself probably, you're going to be coming up with New Year's resolutions. And I know some of you shoot as high as the moon, shoot as little as a snowflake. Think, as, think of a re resolution that you can make, if it's seasonal or not, to step out of your comfort zone. If you are nervous about something, then follow through with it. Because I was nervous and scared about being a scare actor. And now here I am. I enjoyed it. I thought it was a blast. It was great. And I'm super, like I said a thousand times, I'm super proud of this. And for some of you, it may not be <coughs> scare acting. For some of you, it may be starting a YouTube channel. And, you know, you may deal with the comfort level of being in front of the camera. Which is another thing I had to learn how to deal with. Was doing this. I hated this. What you see right now, I hated being in front of a camera. And then having to sit there on my laptop and look at me. Repeating the same thing that I did about 5-10 minutes ago. It's a little weird, you know. <clears throat> and, but you step out of it and you, and you just push through all that. Excuse me, by the way. All that social anxiety. And then when you step out of it and you kind of look back and you're like, oh my gosh. I faced my fears, I did it, and I'm proud of myself, and I had fun. And like I said, some of you, it, it's obviously not going to be scare acting. If it is scare acting, then awesome. Then try to come in contact of the owner of your local haunted house and try to get yourself associated. But with me, 
you know, that would, that, that, you know, obviously that's me. But for you, like I said, it may not be scare acting. It may be, you know, like I said, starting a YouTube channel. Maybe being in front of a camera. Or maybe talking over a camera. Or <clears throat> traveling, flying a plane. Uh, you know, making music. You know, something that, you know, is different in your life. Don't be scared to try something new. And if it makes you nervous, go with it. Because if you're nervous, that means that you're probably in the right stinking place. All right? You know, the New Year's coming up. And I say, always, and everyone says it, New Year, New Me, right? So, make that a thing. Don't, don't just put it into words and not make any actions out of it. Do it. You know? <clears throat> in 2022, I wasn't really expecting to start a YouTube channel. But ta-da, here I am in front of a camera talking to you. So that's just me. I wanted to talk, you know, give you guys a little bit of encouragement. The New Year's coming up. Everyone's starting out the New Year's resolutions. And like with me, obviously like this is going to be like my last video until possibly next year. Maybe you guys will get some shorts of here and there of me saying, you know, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and stuff like that. But that's going to be with shorts. But like I said with before, I'm starting off with some, uh, with some, uh, uh, what you might call it, stop motion. I'm planning on getting to that. And, um, obviously you're probably going to be seeing that through shorts and eventually through long form content. I don't know what kind of stories I want to make. I got some books I looked at for some, you know, for some inspiration and stuff. But overall, you know, everyone have good Merry Christmas, holiday, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, I don't know, whatever the heck else you saw, whatever. You guys know, you guys know what I mean. Whatever you celebrate, you celebrate. And yeah, and uh, have a good new, have a good new year, everyone. Um, other than that, if you can like and subscribe to my channel, that'd be great. Um, also, I'm also been thinking about maybe covering some different content. Uh, what some of that content is. Um, well, let me just say, if you paid attention enough in my video, you know, you're probably are seeing it right now, but I don't know. So, but other than that, with all that being done and said, I'm out of here. And like I and like I'm gonna say again, like and subscribe. Have a good holiday. Be safe. Have fun. Enjoy your time with your friends and family. And with that, I'm out of here. So see, I almost forgot. <laughs> By the way, if you want to be a scare actor, and if you're on Facebook, I'm gonna put a picture of me in, in, in my B-roll. Um, that, this is my Facebook. Do not hesitate if you're located in the Utica Rome area or anywhere near there. Um, this is my Facebook. Message me. Ask, tell me that you are for sure or for certain if, if you have any interest in being a scare actor. Let me know. Yet again, if you are surely interested in that in being a scare actor, let me know. Here's my Facebook. Let me know. Message me. And then I'll get you hooked up with the owner of it. Hey there. Post-production Mike here. I'm talking in regards of KO. If you have an interest in being a scare actor at KO, then obviously, as in like, you know, that Mike said, you know, go to my Facebook, message me, and I'll get you hooked up with the owner of that haunted house. And, uh... And, I'll, and he can obviously help you get started from there. All right, now back to the main video. And he can probably get you situated. But now I'm really out of here. So see ya!